Sure, living on a golf course is cool, but could you imagine living on golf? Welcome to arguably one of the best backyards in the entire world, located here in beautiful Golden, Colorado. My name is Nick with Sinlon, and today we're gonna to show you how we converted this five acre backyard into our golfer's paradise. Come with me now as I introduce you to the homeowner and visionary of the Lynx at Windy Way Ranch, as we converted this into a 22,000 square foot, all synthetic turf, golfer's dream. We've got every shot from 110 yards and in, and I'm excited to share it with you. Dan, it's great to see you again. Nick, good to see you. This place still blows my mind every time I see it. <laughs> it blows my mind and I live here. <laughs> <laughs> I want to introduce you to Dan, the homeowner and the visionary of the Lynx at Windy Way Ranch. Dan, thank you for spending some time. Thank you for letting us come out here again. Why don't you take a little bit of, of time just to tell us how this thing came together? <laughs> okay. Um, well, as you know, I've been a lifelong golfer and one of my passions has always been the short game. I've been a student of Dave Peltz's in the past, and I'd go out for hours and just hit little short game shots. And so when it came time to move to Colorado, um, I was always looking for a property with land. And my wife kept asking me, what do you want the land for? And I said, I don't know, but I'll figure it out when I see it. But in the back of my mind, I think was always the thought of having a short game practice area that I could come out and just spend hours on now that I'm retired. Well, that's incredible. So let's talk about the design. I mean, you were in your shelter in place. You spent months walking around this place. You had a, a 60 foot by 60 foot green in mind and, and maybe a fairway. We're standing here in the field, Dan, and, and when we first got together, you mentioned this idea of how you just loved desert golf, mm -hmm. an oasis in the middle of the field. As we walk up to the signature tee box here, Let's talk a little bit about what you were wanting to accomplish with this. Yeah, I mean, you can have the courses, you know, where the, you go fairway from tee to green, but I've always preferred the desert type courses, a lot of trips to Tucson, Arizona, and other places where, you know, you're hitting over obstacles. And we sort of had the terrain here to be able to do that. So that's why I didn't want to run the fairway all the way up to the tee boxes. But, you know, you see the rocks here, and it just adds some a real dimension to it, I think. Like we specifically put this tee box here and then we rolled these boulders to really create a nice framing for this, which I call the signature tee box. Oh, without a doubt. <laughs> Why don't we hit a few shots from here? Sure. So the two sides, we call them the rattler and snake bite. And there's a reason for that is because there are snakes out here. So yeah, this is a 60 yard hole to the center of the green. Um, we put three pins down there, red, white, and blue. And sort of the game is go for the red, go for the white, go for the blue. Red, white, and blue. I love this idea of not just hitting a bunch of balls from the same spot to the same target, but actually testing yourself in a friendly competition where maybe lunch is on the line or maybe something more. Yep. And that was one of Eddie's ideas is he kind of showed me, you know, okay, let's imagine one hole on this green. Let's imagine two holes. Let's imagine a hole on each of the tiers. So Dan, we've just hit a ton of shots into this green, and we always knew that from the beginning, this was going to be a full short game facility, not just for putting, not just for chipping. What we used is the patented shot stopper technology where we've got a full underlayment system that allows the ball to come down, hit, check up, and release. And we got to see that, and that was really important, especially, you know, maybe not so much for the 30 yard shots, but for those 50 and 70 and 110, <laughs> right? You need that because, you know, when you're at this place, windy way, we can see the wind and the impact of it. You want to know that when you hit a shot, it's going to react like a real golf green. Well, let's move to, to talking about these bunkers. You know, let's look at your crown jewel here. Yep. So this is really modeled off of... The island green. The island and green. that front bunker, yeah. Yep. So, so the two kidney-shaped, tiers 
and then with two pads down there to give you different lies. But when you think about this, we wanted to create the ability to hit to all three tiers, have some of that, you know, scary factor where you've got a high lip on this one. Right? You've got some nice rough with it just really encapsulates that bunker. And that was one of Eddie's thoughts too. He was really insistent that we put the rough all the way around each bunker. And it, it just really makes it pop. You know, it just brings that white out. So this this bunker was really with this idea of let's give you something that we you needed something to break up this slope that got created really because of the slope of the terrain. And, it's amazing, you look at this green, how flat it actually is. I remember when Eddie was first out and we were rolling balls here, and you'd expect it to break down, but visually it, it, it just didn't happen that way. Well, Dan, you've given us a phenomenal tour around the links at Windy Way Ranch. Why don't we finish the day by hitting a few from tee to green, and let's see who can score the best. Blue flag. See if I can give this a chance. Be the one, be the one. I'll take the tap and par here at the at the links. Well, Dan, we spent a few hours out here at the links at Windy Way. We've seen how your passion for the game of golf has really come to life into an incredible backyard facility. We've seen the large green, the four bunkers, the 22,000 square feet of turf, your wedge calibration range, and this is really a backyard, like we said, unlike anything else in the world. If as you've watched this, this has inspired you to create something in your backyard, please reach out to us at Sinlon, Colorado. We'd love to meet with you, understand what your dreams are, whether they're large or small, and we'd love to make them come to life. Thank you.